Another example of augmented reality is something that's really close to my heart. That was my thesis project back at Columbia University. Uh, we took CT and MRI, 2D scans, converted into 3D, and then put them on these smart glasses for a physician to wear called HoloLens by Microsoft. That was an amazing experience. I would scrub into surgery as an engineer, uh, give this headset to a physician who would be able to see the inside of the patient while they're during the surgery. They were able to basically get this 3D map of the patient's anatomy and then navigate a catheter through their body uh, without actually, you know, having the, um, the real way to look inside the patient. So that was a fantastic, fantastic example of augmented reality um, that really, really changed the way um, a surgery is being performed. The problem was is that I had to do something that I really, really hate, and that's waking up early in the morning. Um, I had to go to the hospital every day at 6 a.m. to swap a heart for an aorta, for a lung, uh, basically swap that 3D content um, and match it with the patient that we have on the table. Uh, and that process was so frustrating. As a developer, as a techie, all I wanted to do is two things, manage the assets and deliver them to an air device. Um, and, and, and that process could have been established by a non-techie, right? Like someone in the hospital could drag and drop a 3D model. I, I don't have to be that involved. I already built the application. Um, and we started talking to other developers who are building augmented applications in healthcare, but also in retail and shopping and games and data visualization. And they all said the same thing. There is no easy way to manage and deliver 3D data. Um, but wait, if you think about it, companies have solved this problem for 2D data, right? In web and mobile. Um, you don't need to be a web developer to update a blog post. Companies like uh, Heroku created this cloud platform for web, allowing you to build really scalable uh, websites really quickly. Data companies like uh, Firebase and Parse created the same thing for mobile applications, where mobile applications build the rage. And now we have this new technology that has AR, VR, MR, XR, immersive, call it whatever. Uh, with a new type of content, instead of videos and images, we have 3D. Um, and the question has to be asked, who's going to build that um, cloud platform for that content? Uh, and you've guessed it, that's us, Echo AR. We are that cloud platform for augmented virtual reality apps, providing developers with tools and network infrastructure to quickly build and deploy 3D applications. 